my name is Kelsey O'Connor and welcome to Finding Your Sweat, a series that highlights the different types of workouts, sports, and fitness trends that you can try. And today I'm really excited. I'm in Champs Boxing. It's one of my favorite workouts here in Edmonton. It's a really great workout that I brought just boxing into a bit more of a general population workout. And so today I'm going to show you behind the scenes of what you can expect. I will introduce these lovely ladies who run the show here at Champs. This is Jelena and this is Mel. If you don't know who Jelena is, she's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Look, Pam there. Gina, I would love to know why you decided to create Champs in general. So boxing, obviously, I'm, it's very near and dear to my heart. And it is, uh, I think, one of the best workouts that you can do, total body workout. And I wanted to bring the, my love of boxing to the general public and make it more um, accessible and maybe not as intimidating. So I wanted to bring that and kind of mold it in. Uh, my muses for champs were actually my sisters, so I wanted something in 16 years of me boxing, they've never come to a boxing studio or gym, so I wanted something that they would feel comfortable coming to and just enjoying my experience with boxing. That's something like, I love about champs so much and I think why it's just become so popular here in Edmonton is it's very catered towards just anyone can do it but it's still a great workout so you can have it like if you're a high performing athlete obviously like top level boxers could do it someone who's never worked out before you can kind of cater towards and it takes away that intimidation of boxing well and that's the thing with boxing is is what you put into it is what you get out of it so um, you know if you feel like the workout isn't hard it just means you aren't working hard enough okay. and vice versa if you think that if you're intimidated with boxing you can come in and go your own pace and that's what's great about the room here and and the darker thing is that nobody is paying attention to you they're just trying to figure out what they're doing so that's kind of um, one of the things that I enjoyed about it so Mel, speaking into that, what can someone expect in the class? Like, what's the format of it? So basically, you come into our dark room here. Um, you get your own bag, your own wraps. We hook you up with gloves. You basically work yourself through. We take you through the basics from boxing. Your coach will be at the front. We'll take you through the basics, the six basic punches, some defensive moves. So we incorporate the boxing aspect of things with the high intensity interval training of things. So it's basically boxing and hit combined to create a badass workout loud music, funky lights, and like Jelena said, it's you versus you in there and nothing else matters. You can leave everything on the bag. You literally walk into that room feeling like a hundred bucks. So that's hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Million, million bucks. Million bucks. Million, yes. <laughs> so we're gonna go through the different moves that they'll be doing throughout the class. There's two defensive moves and six different punches we do and you're just gonna have a different choreographed sequence of these moves and that's what kind of makes up the class. So we'll go over the stance. So feet shoulder width apart, you're going to take your dominant foot, step it shoulder width apart back, toes pointing 45 degree angle forward. So um, we're going to bend the knees, elbows are tucked into the ribs and hands are up in the face. So this is your boxing stance. So we're just going to go like your your knee. So we'll just narrow you a bit here. Perfect. So there's two defensive moves. We'll start with the slip. So you're going to take that rear shoulder, Dip and twist slightly towards that front knee. Eyes are staying forward, hands are always staying up. Perfect. So that is slipping forward. We can slip back too. So rear shoulder, dip and twist slightly towards that back knee. Hands are staying up. So it's just a small movement, simulating going by those straight punches. So these are your slips. Now we'll go over the rolls. You can imagine a marker in your mouth. You're gonna bring the weight from the back to the front, making a U with that marker. So you're gonna U it forward, swap the shoulders, swap the shoulders. So this is your rolls, hands are staying up, eyes are staying forward. This is going under those wide punches. So if I threw a hook at you, you would get under these punches. I feel so cool. <laughs> okay, now we'll go over the punches. So we're starting with our jab, the number one punch, most important punch in boxing. So elbow's, elbow's gonna stay low, you're gonna turn the punch over at the end, punching with those top two knuckles, turning it over, and shifting the weight slightly forward. So this is your jab, the number one punch, the most important. Perfect, excellent. Cross, the rear punch, the number two. This is a power shot. You're gonna, same idea, elbow stays low, hand turns over, adding a little pivot off the back toe, um, ball of your foot more so, um, but more focusing on turning those hips around, driving through, because that's where the power comes from. Perfect. Again, punches are eye level. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go over the threes and the fours, the hooks. You're gonna create a 90 degree angle with that arm. 
You're gonna pop into that front hip, you're gonna dip in a bit, and then you're gonna pivot out on that front foot, making a 90 degree angle, almost like you're serving a beer if you have a tray on here. So you're gonna pop it through. So this is your, your front hook, your number three punch. Perfect. So same idea, we're gonna go over the four punch, the rear punch, same idea. Hand goes 90 degrees, and you're gonna pivot off the back foot, popping that hip through the punch, sitting down. So it's your four punch. Perfect. Okay, the fifth punch, your uppercut, you're gonna dip into the front leg, and you're gonna, palm is gonna face you at the end, and you're gonna pop up, picking up your own chin. Imagine if you were fighting yourself, you'd pick up your own chin with that punch. So this is your uppercut, your front uppercut, fifth punch. So your sixth and final punch is your rear uppercut. So you're gonna have the weight already in the back, and you're gonna drive through that hip, pivoting on that back foot, and punching up. So imagine picking your own chin up, with your sixth punch. This is your rear uppercut. So those are the basic punches, just six of them, nice and easy. In the class, we'll run through different combinations, so you'll have a different sequence of punches, and that's basically the in and outs of boxing. Strangers waiting, waiting on a world that's changing, waiting for a day that never cardio it's very hit based but there is some strength components because these bags if you feel are heavy so if you're actually willing to punch and get good form of course you're actually gonna get some resistance to it which is really good so it does have some muscle building properties as well let alone so it's a cardio workout full body workout it is there's no kickboxing it's just upper and you are going to work out a sweat as you could probably see um, it's a really fun workout I just wanted to have a few tips on what to wear pretty much general athletic wear shorts t-shirts sports bra something sweat wicking because you're gonna sweat I always want runners non-marking easy because you are gonna be shifting your feet a lot 
hot for sure, so you don't want to be in sandals of any sorts. Have a good meal, not right before, because you're going to be jumpy, so you don't want to have a lot of stuff in your stomach. And I do get a lot of questions if you're going to sweat a lot. Yes, so you're going to have to wash your hair, maybe re reapply your makeup afterwards. So keep that in mind, you're going to be really sweaty during this workout, but it is a great workout. And as Juliana was pointing out at the beginning, is it's as much as you put in. Because what's fine like this is I can just kind of lollygag and kind of go through the motions and not really get a workout, or I'm not gonna punch as hard because I don't have gloves. You can really pound, go as fast as you can and make this a really good workout. So it's as much as you put in. Yes, you will need those gloves and wraps. As you can saw, if I just start punching like that, I have weak little frail hands, I would probably break them all, but it's a great workout. There's a lot of uh, different types of boxing group fitness classes all over the world. So check out your local gyms, Google, search for those. If you're in Edmonton and area, definitely check out Champs. I cannot recommend them enough. It's one of my favorite workouts here. And if you have any questions, comments about a boxing group class, if you want me to check out an actual boxing workout, so not just a group fitness class, but actual boxing, like in a ring, let me know down in the comments below. And thank you for tuning in, like always, and we'll see you next time on Finding Your Sweat.